So my darlings, oh, let me get comfortable. <laughs> oh, see, I've got another background here, so I'm having to adjust to changing things up again. You'll always get this with me. Um, but um, yes, I'm talking, um, and I'm talking about something that I think is really gonna help people. But before I continue, have you seen the video channel takeover that my mum did recently? If not, you need to go back and see it because she cooks. She cooked up a storm. I am fingers crossed, hoping that she will come on the channel and do a lot more cooking because she does a lot more authentic Caribbean food. Um, and yes, I am about healthy food. When it comes to Caribbean food, the rules go out the window. I don't care what anyone has to say in my comments, all right? Caribbean food is the <laughs> So yes, she is, she's, she's gonna come on a lot more and just show you how it's done. Cause if I cook this food, like I have tried, and I don't feel like I've done it justice. And she's come on and she did an amazing job. I want to put a poll here and vote because it will really encourage her to, to just come out and do more for you. So yeah, on with today's vlog. Today's vlog, I'm going to be talking to you about how to become a YouTuber. So I've been in this game for about a year. Oh no, actually, I've been about in this game for a year and a half, maybe more than that. <laughs> and as you already know, it's been a slow journey. I've had to reevaluate some things, come back to you harder, stronger, differently. I've had to kind of, I've had to switch it up for you. But what I would like to do is give you the things that I wish someone had told me when I was starting this channel in the hope that it will literally fast track you ahead and just get you get you powered up, empowered and ready to just shoot for the stars. One of the first things I say you need to do is find your vision, your cause or your purpose. This is the, your anchor. This is the thing that's gonna keep you going if you don't get the subscribers um, and the attention or the results that you might want. Now, anyone who says that this, it wouldn't discourage you is lying okay if you come in here you've been doing vlogging for like three years and you get one subscriber you're gonna actually wonder if there's any point but your cause your vision your purpose is the thing that is gonna keep you doing it whether there is one or two thousand two million whatever whatever so that's the first thing i say darlings <laughs> Um, the next thing I'd say is if you're waiting for the right time, the perfect time, there is no perfect time. When it comes to vlogging, it is very much a, a touch and go and just just, just just, jump in, dive in kind of thing. Um, and whether you stink or swim determines how long, how long you continue to pursue it. Um, I think that the people that are successful are persistent, consistent, they push and they don't stop until they get where they need to go. The next thing I'd say is be open-minded, okay? Um, don't feel like your channel has to be one way at the beginning. I think the channels that find their foot in are very fluid at the beginning. They just, you're just feeling out your audience and you're gauging um, interest and trying to find your stride as someone who's come into something that is, is, is actually quite highly competitive now. Um, be open-minded. Don't say, oh, I'm gonna do it this way and I'm not gonna change it, because you just don't know what's down the line. Um, with me, I'm switching things up all the time now. Um, and I, I never used to, but I, I, I try and play with different things now because I feel like you limit yourself if you don't. If you have an audience, they will be forgiven, I believe. Um, because it's a big world, you've got, what, eight billion people? Someone's gonna love what you do. So don't worry about whether you're gonna get subscribers if you decide that you wanna change direction. Just just be decisive and just do it. Um, yeah, in, in line with that, I'd say push yourself. Um, so um, try something new every time. Um, with me, sometimes it's the location, sometimes it's who's running the channel, sometimes it's getting someone on board, sometimes it's just the way that I might do the lighting or the way that I might set up my background. And uh, just, just switch it up. Switch it up! <laughs> Another thing is be authentic. 
I watch people give advice and say, be like this all the time. I'm not like this all the time. Some days I'm like, hi, how you doing, you all right? Um, and, and sometimes there's various factors as to why I might be a bit more chill one day or a bit more ah another time. Sometimes I'm just pumped and I really wanna, I wanna, I wanna come to you and just outlet, just, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm on, I'm on a roll, you know. Um, so yeah, there'll be times where I will be like ah, or there'll be times where I'm like ah, you know. Um, but I think regardless, just be authentic, be yourself, because um, I feel like when when you when you're authentic with your audience they pick up on that i think you can fool some of the people some of the time but you can't fool all the people all the time um so just just be yourself and the thing is it's very hard to keep up a persona that you might have created and it's not worth it you know for me my channel is called your sincerely sell so my thing is i'm always trying to find ways to come across as authentic as possible some days i am a bit nutty in fact i'm more nutty off camera than i'm on if i'm being honest with you i burst out into song every two minutes and i'm you know a little bit aloof airy fairy and trying to buzz around all the time but when i'm on camera sometimes i do tame it down it depends on what the topic is it depends on what i'm talking about it depends on various different factors but fundamentally um i can go away happy because i know that i'm being myself and i i'm a success as myself i'm already a success it doesn't matter how many people i get if i get two people i'm a success honey i'm a still i'm still gonna run things i'm still in control nobody cares who you are and that's the reality and that's what i've learned on this channel whether it's it's people you know your friends or family or um people you don't know nobody cares who you are they care what you have to offer them okay now if you didn't hear anything else i said on this hear this okay if you haven't got anything to bring to the table no one's gonna want to watch your channel <gasps> now for me i know that there are things that I need to do to be discovered and to get a wider audience so if i have to do google whatever it is then i'm going to do the advertisement so i can reach an out a, a wider audience but the fundamentals is there which is i i'm determined that my channel would add value hear that again i'm going to put it here or up here but my channel is going to add value to someone's life that's the fundamental reason why you should be a youtuber um adding value could mean you're funny you're entertaining or you got tips and tricks or like you know mine is is a, a variety of things so um for example the, the cooking food great food tips about being a parent how i get food being a parent there's so many different things being a boss mom tips about that my journey through being a boss mom i i know that what i have to give and contribute is valid and i'm also honest about the things that i don't know or don't understand or still need to work through 